Hi, um, my name is Dr. Lloyd. I am a AP U.S. History and AP World History teacher here at Booker T. Washington High School. So today I'm gonna show you how to use Cl Class Companion. Class Companion is an AI website that um, assists the students with their writing prompts. So uh, it is Google integrated, so it's a free website. Um, it's Google integrated, so let's go in here, sign in with Google. And the great thing about this website is it, once you invite your students in, you can export their names over from Google Classroom. So now, right here is where you can go in and create a classroom. Like I said, uh, my classroom is AP U.S. History and AP World History. So you, as you can see, there are all the AP classes minus the uh, math classes. And then there are some gen ed classes. So um, go in and you select your subject. You can name your class, and then you hit create. And so, as you can see, um, I have a AP U.S. History class, AP World History class. So now I'm going to do a demonstration. Your dashboard, you can go to your dashboard. The dashboard is going to show you all your students who are active and who have been sent the invitation. So you can double check that with your roster. And if you have to add a student, uh, there's two ways you can do it. As you can see. Dashboard comes up, it'll show you uh, students that are active versus students that have been invited that we're still waiting to uh, accept the invitation. If you want to add a student, you can send them a direct email um, and send it to their personal email, and then they can go ahead and accept the invitation and it'll bring them into the class. Or you can copy the link, put the link in the QR code, and uh, post the QR code and let them uh, get activated in the class from that point. So now the assignments, if we go back to create an assignment, I love this feature right here because if I want to create an assignment, I can do I can duplicate it from a context library and that's where other teachers have uh, completed an, an AI assignment uh, with Class Companion and they posted it for, you can per peruse it and uh, if it's, there's something that you like, you can preview the assignment like this one here from Andrew Hunter. Uh, you can preview the assignment. If you like it, you can clone it and then uh, you can clone it and then submit it for your own students. So add an assignment uh, generated by I, uh, AI. This is one I like to use a lot because I can go in and do short answer or essay. And so type of assignment, AP. Uh, SAQ and then let's just say we're gonna go a push uh, 5.10 reconstruction so you put in the box right here what you want AI to generate so I use uh, uh, AP US history uh, 5.1 uh, reconstruction so I generate so now it comes up it giving me three different questions that I can use and then once I continue on the next page, you can then edit your questions. So here we go. Short answer questions, essay questions, and outline. AI, name my assignment, understanding reconstruction error. So I can come down here. I know that's in unit five. And then uh, I know that it's 5.10. So these options, those are optional uh, to narrow it now, and I like to use that just in case when my students look at it. You know, in rubric, you can add your own rubric, or you can have uh, AI add your rubric. So that's name is rubric reconstruction, and then let's go minimum of four paragraph. Um, Strong thesis, and I'm just putting the stuff out here. Uh, and see, minimal four paragraph strong thesis. We'll go with that for right now. So you can create your own rubric and put in there, or AI. You can attach the AI rubric to it as well. So the rubric has been added. I can come down right here. Here's the instructions for my students.
And then, um, answer the prompts. So now students, here go my instructions. Students must answer the prompts in a minimum of four paragraphs. And I'm just putting that out there, just, just be facetious. And so now here go the questions. Here are your questions. And then if you don't like one of the questions, uh, you can go in and change it at this point in time, or you can delete it. So now, uh, I like those questions. Say, I like these questions. If I want to add more to it, I can go in and hit this button, add more. I can put a close date for this, uh, for this assignment and maximum number of attempts. I usually do like three or four. That way, <clears throat> if they didn't provide enough evidence, AI would come back and say, hey, you didn't provide enough evidence. You need to put more evidence to support this claim. So I usually like to give them three or four attempts. That way they can go and go back and forth with the AI system. Uh, it's telling me my rubric didn't add. So let's go back at rubric. Uh, yeah, so new template. Let's add this one. Use this rubric here. So now the rubric has been added and I can publish. So this is what the student will see. Um, reconstruction is going to show draft. And then here on the side, you can edit. So student response. If you want to see what the student response is, you can go in um, and then right here where it's complete. So now this is a student's response. <clears throat> so the student wrote uh, their paper and AI came back and said, okay, he, he pasted this part. So it catches copying and pasting, it catches plagiarism. And so the student went in and wrote uh, class campaign gave their feedback and you can see the students can go back and forth with class campaign. So this particular student, I know that, uh, he typed his paper, uh, on word document and then he pasted it here in uh, class campaign, but class campaign said, yes, he was pasting. This is the text that he's pasting. But, uh, overall this particular student got a three out of three. So this is what it would look like once the students submit their assignment and you can see the dialogue or you can see what uh, AI has to say about the issue. Now, as the teacher, you can go in and make those corrections. So if you think the student hit the mark with a strong thesis or strong contextualization or they answer the question with enough evidence, you can actually go in, you hit the little roller, the paint roller here, and you can go in and type your explanation or explain why you feel the student got that uh, particular assignment correct. So then you can change it from incorrect to correct and then uh, post it and then update the student grade. So we go back to submissions. So here on submissions, you will see the assignment. You see the status, if they was complete, if they was pasting, if it was late. Um, you can go down, you can see where they disputed the answer. If they disputed the answer, this is a great one here. So, eh, this student wrote, I honestly don't know, you know, and then uh, AI came and said, uh, your thesis is not strong enough. You need more evidence. You need to structure it. You need reasoning. So he gives all these examples. So then ask the teacher, I can go in, hit dispute, and I can write uh, my example here, let's say, uh, I do not know as well. And then I can give them the point and hit submit. And as you can see, it's settled and it went from zero over nine and now it's one over nine. So just you as the teacher, you can go in and read dispute whatever the student have to say. And if you agree with it, you can change the grade. If you agree with, agree with AI, AI, you can just go ahead and just, you know, say I agree with AI and uh, do it that way as well. Here's another thing. So if you want to go in and just, just select the student to see what student, what they, uh, if they did it or not, or you can go in and sort by just the assignment because they don't sort it here, but you can go in and sort it by the assignment or you can sort it by the status which is a great thing. Um, 
and then you can do flags on it as well. But that is everything for uh, Class Companion. It is our it is integrated with Google Classroom. So whenever I post an assignment, it actually goes to Google Classroom. It's integrated with Google Classroom. Uh, you pull the student's name over from Google Classroom, or you can send them an invite. Uh, it has a tool on it that uh, determines if the, if the student is uh, plagiarizing, if they're p copying and pasting. It gives them examples. It tells them you need to provide more evidence to support this uh, particular claim, or you got a strong thesis, or you got strong contextualization. And these things will be key on the AP exam when it comes time to write the DBQ, the LEQs, and the SAQs for the AP exam.